Okay, today I'm going to talk or do a tutorial on how to convert movies to an iPod format or iPod playable format, which is often MP4. I'm going to be converting a Bob file, which is obviously a, basically a file straight off a DVD. So if you go, so to get this, you just tab, and we just type up here hand break. This is a free software, and I found find it very good to use. And it should be the first one here, as you can see. And just click select handbrake. And once that page loads, now handbrake is compatible with Mac, Linux, and Windows. I'm going to show you how to use the Windows or install it on Windows. Um, it's open source and yep. So you just click download. And here you've got Windows download. Now while you download, it's not in download again, but just download, take redirect your page and it should just pop up with the link. Okay, once you download, just go to where the file's located, which is in my downloads. Downloads. And it should be up here. And yeah, double click. And open. Next, I agree. Default folder. I, I, I recommend leaving in the default folder. Take the whole 10 seconds, 5 seconds to install. After that, just click um, finish. And it should start running it. Now you probably see how it's got the that's the icon for it. It is it's a very good software to use. Now along the side here you've got presents. Now you've got Apple, which is Universal, iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPhone 4, iPad, Apple TV, Apple TV 2. Now you got your regular and they're just other presents for things, but we're going to use iPod, so I'm an iPod touch, so I'm going to select iPod here. And just over here, we're going to go video file. Now, just say we've got, all, we've got the video. We're going to go video. There we go, computer, hard drive. And here, we're going to select Mr. Bean. And just mind my mind the baby, Mr. Bean. We'll get that one. And now, let's put it back there. Now, as you can see, it's a. Oh, it's a Bob file. Let's see, yep. So we'll just double click on that. And I should open it up here. Pop up a message here saying destination. Click OK. Select here. Select where I want the video to go. So I want to just wear loop. Videos and just save it here and it's mind the baby. Oop, double B. And it'll save as an MP4. And just save it there like that. Now you don't really need that, don't really have to change anything because that file there set those up for you. But if you want to play around, you can. You can change the thing, you can change the quality, uh, the audio. If you really want to go through all that, you can. It's up to you. I recommend not playing it with it unless you want to increase the quality. But as long as you, when you increase the quality, you'll increase the file size as well. Okay. Here, you click the thing, and you just goes add to queue. Now, you know, start by only doing one movie, it should start in Cody. Now, if you were going to had a fair few movies to encode and put on your iPod, I would recommend just doing all this go source, select the file, name it, set location, make sure that's selected, and then when all that's done, add to queue. Repeat steps, that step again, source, add, select the file. Select the longest time there. Destination, make sure that. Add to queue. And then hit start. And it will go overnight. And it's, So it takes about for a, like a normal length movie, like an hour and a half. It takes about two hours and a bit. On um, all this kind of size or speed computer, which has got a Pentium dual core. Nothing fancy. 1.8 gigahertz. Nothing fancy, this computer. I often use on a Pentium 4, which is right next to me. It's only a 3.2 GHz 
can convert more of it. Five movies a night, and they're often done by the morning. So I don't know when it turns off or when it finishes. So I'll just pause this here and come back when this is finished encoding. Okay, we're back. It finished encoding, and I'll walk you through adding it to iTunes now. Now here you got file users. Now this tells you where the destination. It's in my it's in my user folder and it's in video. So we'll go here, look, and we'll find videos. Double click on videos and the curse of Mr. Bean. Okay, there it is. There. We know where it is. All we gotta do now is go here, open iTunes up. iTunes is a very slow opening process. And she's done up now. There she is. iTunes up. Now I'm going to go back to this folder and the curse of you know, more of my baby Mr. Bean, wasn't it? We drag this down to the, the taskbar. Just click and drag and just drop it in the movie section. Make sure you got the movie or just place it up here. Sometimes that don't work. So in order, um, just select iTunes and just make sure that's selected. And get the baby Mr. Bean, drag it down iTunes, just drop it in here. There it is there. Didn't think it went in. Can't show you too much. And see, perfect quality. You watch it on a computer or your iPod, but it's mainly for the iPod. So, that's how you convert a movie from basically any format using free software and into an I a format which is playable by the iPod and looks great on the screen. Uh, if you like this movie, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Watching.